Helen joins me now. And, and, and Helen, how did you choose the men that you went out on dates with? How, how did you hook up with them? Well, I was on a, a what's known as a sugar daddy website. Oh, right. So it works just like any other dating site. Now, the reason I went on there, you know, I wasn't looking for a rich husband. In fact, I wasn't looking for any husband. That's, that's exactly why I went on there. I wanted some fun. I'd just come out of a long-term relationship. And I'd always had this thing for older men, but always been a little bit embarrassed about it, you know. So newly single, bit bored with my job. Um, and I, so I joined this, this sugar daddy site, mm -hmm. thinking it would just be a few months, it would just be a few fun dates. I think I had this sort of glamorous image in my head of sitting at a cocktail bar with a sophisticated gentleman, you know. But it, it just went, it went on so much more than that. I never imagined I'd, mm -hmm. I'd stay on this site for three years it turned out so how I chose people was just like in any dating site you meet people you meet for coffee if you or a drink if you get on you meet again if you don't then you, then you don't right. so they know exactly what they're getting and you know exactly what you're getting before it happens it doesn't always though necessarily mean that you end up in bed of course not, not. that it's, it's I mean not of that. course it's you know you're in a you're meeting on a dating site so of course sex is probably at the back of people's minds right. eventually like mm. it would on any site but you know I was in this stage of my life at the time that I was I was on a, in a bit of a sexual exploration phase, you know. I was I think I hit every woman goes through that thing. I hit that quite late, um, and what these day what these websites do, what I think is that it offers a kind of what I say in my book is a, a low maintenance relationship. Right. People can meet, they've got some continuity, they've got a genuine rapport, some attraction, but they don't want that sort of twenty four seven type relationship. You mm. know? And that is what I wanted at the time. And that's what a lot of the right. men that I met, they're very busy, they're high flying men, got you know, they travel a lot. So they don't have the you know the the time or the energy I think to invest in a in So a they would just be girlfriend. looking sometimes for companionship, sometimes for sex, you know, depending on how they were at the time. But there was a thing that you talked about in your book that a guy left you money at the, in the morning. I would be absolutely well, mortally offended by that. This did happen a, a long time into my adventures, you know, and I, when I joined the site, it was just pure innocent fantasy, a little bit of fun. But as I was as I was on the site, I started to become aware of this other culture, which is where some men offer offer women allowances. Now, I was really shocked by this at first, mm. perhaps naively so. And I used to get these messages saying, you know, what are you looking for? I can help with rent or bills. And, and I used to delete those messages mm. and think, oh my gosh, no, I can't, I can't do that. But over time, and a long period of time, I started to. to be a bit intrigued by it and a couple of things happened which made me think well actually maybe that isn't so bad if I'm dating these men anyway and if I like them and if this is the sort of the, mm. the dating lifestyle I like and um, one man took me to to New York and um, took me shopping and I remember feeling so awkward about it and ex you know accepting all these um, extravagant Prada, <laughs> yeah, I had a new Prada wardrobe essentially. Mm -hmm. And when I came back, my friend said to me, she was really upset because she'd been dating a guy who, um, who she was more into him than he was into her. And it was that typical situation, you know, she'd, she'd slept with him and then he'd got his way and, and sort of went off into yeah. the sunset. And she said, she was crying on my sofa and she said, you know what, it's okay for you. She says, you're going off and you're getting taken to all these lovely places. And she said, but she said, what have I got to show for it? And it sort of dawned on me then that in a way, when these men are offering to, to pay the way, to buy women gifts, what they're doing is that's their way of having almost an honest way to have a non-committal relationship. <laughs> it was sort of, if, if you're not, you know, if you're not looking for love and a, and a long-term yeah. partner, of course, I would, I would never have joined that site in the first place. That's what I was looking for. Mm. But it almost seemed that that's what... Sure. That's what but, you, but eventually it wore off, didn't it? I mean, eventually you thought to yourself, nah, this is not the way to go. So yes. you, you do talk about that in the book, that actually of you course. do regret it. Yeah, well, I mean, I stayed kind of in that phase for about three years, and it was way too long, and it was great fun. For the first year, I had an absolute ball, but it became quite addictive, and I think my motivation changed from sort of fun and, and a, the genuine penchant for the old man, and it, it became more about the gifts I was receiving, and, and I noticed that, and yeah. that's why I stopped. Right, it's, it's actually good that you did, that you just think to yourself, no, that's not the way to go. It's a fascinating read, Helen. I'm, I'm sorry we haven't got more time to go into it even more, but thank you for, for coming in this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Right, still to come, we're going to be live in Los Angeles with our Ross. How